G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at XVs and IVs by Clover. Clover's one of us as a gas HQ, so hi, my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you doing? For you, it's been a little bit of time. For me, no, I literally just finished it. The only difference is I figured out what I was doing wrong in the previous video. Um, and the answer is, uh, I hadn't maximized my browser window. Um, so like, you know, I feel like a real genius there. Uh, but, um, we are Gats, Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. We create sense of Genuinely Approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats for a very fast time, one hat for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets to dance off, because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get into it. Let's do it. So, uh, this is XVs and IVs by Clover. Now, uh, that's better. That's what it's about. Um, so, uh, what is this? This is a normal Sudoku in some aspects. Uh, no, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, each column. Must contain this one to nine once each. Now, uh, we have some Vs in the grid, like that one. Uh, they must sum to five. We have some Xs in the grid. They must sum to ten. Uh, not all Xs and Vs are given. There is no negative constraint in this. Uh, but what you do also know is that we have some white circles in the grid and what the white circles will tell you is that these four cells must contain 7, 8, 9, these four cells must have a 6 and an 8, so on and so forth. That's it, that's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Uh, I'm going to jump into it now, let's do it. So, uh, where to start is obviously in this box because there's just a lot of information. Now. This cell can only be less than four. Uh, so rather than go one, two, three, four, and then try and figure it out, we can already tell something about this cell. And what can we tell? Because we know that this is gonna be six, seven, eight, or nine. Uh, because seven, eight, and nine are up here, we know that this actually has to be six and one, and uh, six and four and one. Now, uh, we know that this has to be seven, eight, and nine, and actually pencil mark. The three over here is going to make that a three and that a seven. That's seven out of here. Uh, we just placed a one, so we know that that can't be a nine. So that's an eight, two, nine, and five. Uh, before I do anything else, two, five, see that in cells. So this is a two, five pair. Uh, let's come down to here. Probably we can get away with the same logic. This is six, seven, eight. This is a digit less than four. Uh, the only digit that this can be now is nine, make that one and four, uh, six, seven, and eight. Uh, we've placed a four, meaning that to make 10, we need six, that's a six. Uh, and then uh, that's a five. This two means that that's three, seven, eight, and two. Um, seven, nine, nine, and seven. Uh, we know that that has to be a four. In one of those two cells. Now, two, three, and four going up here mean that this is a one, nine pair. We know that that's four, one, and nine. Uh, let's, let's pull the same nonsense down here. Uh, one, two, three. The other way you can make uh, this sum to 10 is four and six. So we can do it like this six, four, and one. The four and one have to sum to five, so that's how we know six can't be there. Uh, now, Seven, eight, uh, oh, uh, yeah, this way, six, seven, eight, uh, meaning that's a one, nine, uh, one and wait, nine, um, uh, let's, let's go this way, uh, three, seven, six, eight, that's nice, three and seven, six and four can't be, and nine and nine, rule that out, so this has to be two and eight, going those two cells. Now, uh, what do we know about this one? Uh, we know it can't be 2, 8, can't be 1, 9. Uh, do we know if it can't be 3, uh, three 4, or... Uh, uh, we know, oh yeah, we do. 4, and the 4 that we know has to be there by the quadruple, meaning that we know that this has to be 3 and 7. Uh, and this is a 6, 8 uh, pair that I've just never done anything with. 6 and an 8. Um, 
And then let's go down here. Can we do this one? We know it has to be an even uh, one uh, because we got that. Uh, and we do know which one this is because this one can't have two because of the two five there and that one can't have a two. So this has to be four and six. Anyway, I, I've been doing gas for long enough to uh, smell when there was a um, uh, clue added for uniqueness. Sorry to write you out there, Clover. Um, all right. Uh, that's a seven and an eight. This is nine, uh, one eight pair. Uh, is that all the variant? I think that is actually all the variant in this Sudoku. So now, um, yeah, okay, just time to blast through it, I guess. Um, I, I was watching Pokemon. I was watching the Pokemon anime, um, before I, like, came here. Uh, well, I was also watching a hard quiz, uh, if you were here for the first uh, record. Um, but I was watching Pokemon, and just any time I say blast off, I'm just like, Team Rocket's blasting off again! Uh, alright. Lee, what am I doing? Uh, 4, 5, 9, 4 there is what I've spotted. Uh, the key part, whenever you are um, doing regular classic Sudoku is just look wherever you've got the most in. Like I'm coming down here now, that's six. Wait, six, seven. Uh, this is a one, so that's a five and a one. And now across the middle, three, six, nine, we've got six and nine there, and three and nine there. So when I write this in as three, nine, six, you know why? Uh, the three fixes that. Now, up here, it's one, uh, one, four, seven, I've got four, seven, and seven, so that's, uh, seven, four, one, uh, which unwinds up here, and then just reading across the grid, it's two, five, and eight. That's been XVs and IVs by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your evening, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.